Welcome to this week's episode of Pixel Anchors. I am Scott. I'm Mitch. Hello. <laughs> and Tim. <laughs> Wait, can I be more manly? Crow. Crow. Tim. It's Crow. It's, it's bro now. You're like, what's up, there's a bro crow? <laughs> bro crow. Just be bro crow. Bro Call me Steven bro. <laughs> B-R-O-W-E. <laughs> Love it. So, fellas, what the hell's going on with you? Civil War. Boom. Civil War. You yeah, saw that? We had a civil war between me and Mitch and Steven. <laughs> We're always a civil who? war. Yeah. What? Who, like, who's which? Yeah, who's who? We're the winning team, whatever that is. Ooh. <laughs> well, there's Tony Everybody Stark, loses. and then... Oh, wait, real quick. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah, don't Spoilers. get mad at us. You know the drill. I just about to drop... I was about to drop some. So, it depends... Pond on, dies. <laughs> it depends on who you think is the winning team, because you've got a bunch of jackasses in prison, yeah. and then you've got Tony Stark. You think they're jackasses? <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's a broad statement. That is a broad statement. <laughs> that hat is messing with you. Man. I know. <laughs> it's like because underneath this, there's like an alien pushing buttons and like. <laughs> that is a broad statement, sir. Why would you say that about Captain America? It's when he's got picks of wankers at five o'clock and then he's got a jazz recital at seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know if we should have given you a rolling chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really the rolling chair. I think it's it for me. Sorry if I. It's cool. I couldn't oh, be in it either. I guarantee you, there were trouble on my end. All right, it's time for the review of Civil War. Civil War. Okay. So. Wank away. Go on. Well, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. There's the review. Well, <laughs> well I thought it was was awesome to an extent. Like there are things about it that I was like. Ooh. Okay, start with the bad. Young uh, Tony Stark. Ooh. <laughs> a little... <laughs> a little, uh, you know... I don't know. like a little, like, Caitlyn Jenner post-op, right? <laughs> well, well, they, they, <laughs> right? It, was like, it was like they were really confident with their CG. Like, hey, guys, we, we worked, like, months on the CG of, to- of uh, Tony Stark. Young, let's put him, like, center stage, front, front, right in front of your face. Half the screen will be his face. It's like... <laughs> It looks like a scary Photoshop <laughs> accident. Like, I mean, it, it's it actually, if you look at old photos of um, Robert Downey Jr., it's pretty close. And I'm, I'm being mean about it, but they did do a good job. But the problem is, is like, his body is still old man, John, you know, like a Robert Downey Jr. It's not young kid Robert Downey Jr. So, like, they probably should have got a kid to, like, act the body parts, and then they should have, like, face tracked him on there. But um, overall, it was good. I mean, it played out well. It just at first, I didn't get that he was a kid at first. Like, he's just sitting. He's like, "Mom, I'm back from college." I'm like, <laughs> "Yes." Uh, what did we walk into here? It's like this, like Robert Downey Jr. films his own episode of uh, like Say by the Bell. <laughs> Full House. That yeah. Downey so Jr. You didn't, you didn't like skinny Steve Rogers in the first Captain America then? No, I think they did it the right way though, because they had a skinny guy play the body. And then they had. No, I think it's CG. No, dude. It's I think CG. Is the body all CG? Yeah. yeah. But I yeah, thought but that was that okay. That looked a whole lot better. Yeah, than they yeah. actually so CG'd the body down. And here's the thing let's talk and about. His face, if we're talking about like replacing face. people, um, who was it? Um, Ant Man, uh, oh, right. Michael J- Douglas? Oh. His young Michael Douglas looked fine. Like that was okay. Yeah. But you can yeah. you can get a lot away with a lot when it's like but he's, old yeah, film he was and stuff. Wasn't front and center either. Yeah. yeah. Like they put Tony Stark like And even right. after the thing, Tony's like, see this thing looks like shit, but like this is my memory and it's like mm. He's not saying that it looks like shit because it, it was bad CG. He was I think he was saying <laughs> he was thinking he was saying the memory wasn't quite right. Yeah, that's what he was saying, it was awful. But yeah, so I mean that that's kind of nitpicky. I mean that that's just yeah, a little visual effects thing. But it was fun about still. Iron Man three, like half the film is CG. Robert Downey Jr. Well, I mean everything Iron Man suit. I mean, oh man, did, he, I think some of the more rougher things was when Iron Man was in his suit and they pulled, you know, his head was just sitting there. It's like uh, you guys cement that into that shell a bit more. Like yeah. I mean, this is coming from. I mean, like a lot of our audience probably isn't going to be like nitpicking visual effects, and all I'm doing is like looking at like. Oh, I can see what they did there. Okay, I'm like breaking the effect down in my head, and so I'm like, mm, it's okay. Like you know, they, they probably there's probably more to it than I'm like seeing. Mm. Like, 
they only have so much with the video footage. Mm-hmm. And if they didn't get the video footage right in the first place, I mean, there's yeah, there's only so much you can do. A lot of it did with Rex, though. A little bit. Like, like, Bucky punching the car. At first, I was like, oh, man, why do they keep showing this shot? Because that car looks really rough. Like, when he punches it, it, like, flies away real fast. It seemed wrong. Like, mm-hmm. everything well, about that punch seemed all, weird. And he's on a motorcycle? It was yeah, it was like, like, he's like, room, mm, he's like, like riding up, and then he just goes, punch! Weights. And, like, he doesn't, like, react or anything. Just the car punches, and it flies off the... It's like, hmm. <laughs> it was road rash. But I was like, why do they keep showing <laughs> this scene over and over again? And then towards the end, I'm like... Like, I, I literally, in the theater with all of us, I am I was watching it, and when the guy's like, I'm going to tear you apart, watch this video, or whatever, he it comes up, I'm like, the car. I'm like, oh. No, I, he cut he, the ties. I thought he right? threw a, like a, something. like a flashbang in the car, because you see, like, something go off in the car, and then they turn him, and the car. I thought he punched it. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. he did. Was it a flashbang? I, I think, thought he I cut think the tires or something. I don't think it was that. See, I, I never got a flashbang. I thought it was a flashbang. I just, what did you get from it? It looked to me that he just swung his arm at the car. Like, honestly, that was it. So yeah. I, I don't know. I what, thought. Two what movie did wrong. you guys see? Who knows? Well, but they showed us that, that shot bad, three. Though? They shot us that, that, that shot three, shot three times, times, and nobody and knows. We don't know <laughs> what that <laughs> happened. I thought the consensus was that he, like he's a super soldier, so he punched the side of the car, and it just kind of yeah. like knocked it off I, the road yeah. into the tree. That'd be funny if that's what it was. That that would make me laugh even harder. <laughs> I, I thought it was a flashbang. I hope it's a flashbang because if it's a punch off the road, it's like that shit is stupid. I think it's a punch off the road. Really bad. But anyways. Um, the movie itself is a little slow, like three quarters of the way through. It gives you, I was telling this to um, Mitch afterwards, I was mm-hmm. like, it gives you a lot of time to get like intimate with like the characters. Like the Robert Downey Jr. part where he's younger, it's like, they didn't have to put that, that in, well they yeah. did have to put it in there, but like, they didn't have to give us the song with his mom and stuff. They could have just given us a little slice of like the dad's argument with him. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad that they gave us that because they like made us feel more for the character in the end. And like all these things added up to like even... Black Panther, you know, meeting the dad. I'm like, I didn't necessarily have to meet the dad, but to get that relationship of he dies and then the son takes over the thing, like, made that whole bit a lot better. So I'm glad that they, like, spaced things out and they gave us a little bit of time, even though it's a little slower for the first three quarters. Mm-hmm. The, the last, like, quarter's like... In terms yeah. of pacing, it's, like, like very spot on with Batman versus Superman. And, yeah. and some of the plot points are like spot on with Batman versus Superman like you've got uh, one of the things that really is like the biggest call to action for people to like jump in and, and stop stuff from going down is a meeting with uh, with your superhero and a bomb just so happens to go off <laughs> and people are like well we gotta we gotta do something now you know yeah. and then you've got like your big showdown between like the superheroes that are also being just totally manipulated by your An evil genius your evil genius and then you've got your showdown at the end. It was, it was pretty funny to see like, just how like, consistent it was. Like, well, so, how did it, it play it, out? It like, played, it played far better out in Civil War, but they're close. And that's the funny thing. After the movie, I, I asked people. I and mean, there's actually this morning, a bunch of my coworkers came in, and um, a lot of them were like, uh, not really familiar with too much of both of the behind the stories and stuff. But they watched both of them. I'm like, what did you like better? And I'm like, oh, I liked Civil War a lot better. It was awesome. And I was like. You didn't think it was similar to Batman? Everyone was like, I don't think it was similar at all. And I'm like, but they they don't know how to really like pick a story apart and like understand what they're actually doing. And if you actually look at it, like there's the the reason why like Cap and um, Tony are kind of bashing heads at the beginning isn't fleshed out really at all. Like I mean, like Bucky gets involved, and that's the only real only real reason to say like, hey, that's why they're fighting. But ultimately, even even Cap's like, oh, yeah, I'll sign it, fine, I'll sign it. And then finally he realizes, like, no, this might be something bad. And then he, like, throws the pen down. But even then, they're still not, like, at real odds. And that's what was funny is, like, all the lines I thought were, like, heavy where he's like, I want to punch your, like, teeth in. It was just like, playful banter. Yeah, it was just playful back and forth. Like, I was like, wow, that seemed really, like, Vicious, mean in, yeah. in the thing. But it was the context. And now that you look at the context, I'm like, they could have made more with that. Like they probably could have yeah. utilized that yeah. kind of anger later rather than there. It just seems almost off kilter. Well, did anyone think that it was kind of off putting like the whole fight at the end hinges on one guy like predicting the actions of twelve superheroes yeah. to put them <laughs> against each other? Like just yeah. coincidentally being like 
Well, I hope they don't dis- <laughs> they don't agree on this. Otherwise, my whole plan's like screwed. Hopefully, yeah. they can't talk this out. Yeah. Like right. a team. <laughs> well, I, I like how like first off, it doesn't even just hinge on that. It hinges on the fact that he's torturing that guy in the in the. Uh, the sink, the right? sink, yeah. And he's like, he's like, tell me what happened during this time. And the guy's like, I'm not going to tell you. And he's like, well, I have other ways. It's like, oh, so you have this whole, you've already planned like all this other stuff out, even when you were torturing this guy. Like, yeah. why would you have done that? Like, if this guy plus, had the information, don't you think you yeah. probably could have tortured the guy better than just putting his head in the sink? It didn't even look like it went down deep. Yeah, I was, I was, thinking, I was like, I was like, <laughs> he's still his head's gonna be yeah. pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. He's sometimes. just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, I think the bigger, bigger plot problem is Bucky. And I told, mm-hmm. I told Mitch this, I said, he was at the, at the end where he's like, okay, Bucky, we're going to have to put you in the freezer, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll defrost you when we can, you know, figure you out, bye. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't they just puncture his eardrums? <laughs> Could he be any more of, like, an angsty, like, high school kid? Kinda. Yeah. He's like, Cap, I'm probably not even worth all of this. Yeah, it's like, you're definitely not worth all of like, this. And he's like, dude, get out of here. And he's like, okay, save me. Risk your life, save me. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, pussy. Like, and then, you know, That's why like, I'm surprised you like uh, Winter Soldier so much. Dude. Because he's cool in Winter Soldier. He's not into He's that better s- in Winter Soldier, yeah, but, but he's, he's still not into kind that of self lo- self-loathing crap, you know? He's still, like, programmed, and he's still, like, the bad guy. We're just seeing, like, the remnants of this guy. He's like, he's like, no, like, terrorism? I quit that shit a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not into that anymore. I don't get down with terrorism. Yeah. It's like... And then what? you catch him in the bathroom, uh, heating up a spoonful of terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I, t- I, s- I swear it's not mine. I'm holding it for a friend. <laughs> yeah. And like, get it? The, like their their little like the the words that they said were the thing that kind of like dip him back into being like under under brain control. But they're like swimming pool slide. Yeah. Night. <laughs> Children giggling in park. Yeah, it was like the words were so stupid. Yeah. It was like, oh my god, he's like, stop it! I would have, I would have loved if it was like noodles. I, I would have loved if the thing was like, the the secret code to make him go crazy is one. Okay, go what? Two. Yeah. Three. Moist. <laughs> and then the last one is. Evil. <laughs> One, two, three, evil? Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that combination was so stupid. Bucky really was, like, the worst part. And he's so yeah. good in Winter Soldier. But... What do you think about popping his eardrums? I think you could just pop his eardrums and it would solve the whole no, problem. Oh, Scott's bloody yeah. convoluted. Well, no? I mean, honestly, it's true. Because he, he has to hear it and that's it. I mean, unless he saw, like, a bus and a kid and, like... <laughs> The the kids number one. Signs it out to him. He's like, no! Oh. <laughs> but he can't hold his eyes shut. He's like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's funny that Bucky was the catalyst, like, or the thing that they were fighting so heavily over. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. It's like, it, it's a fun movie, don't get me wrong, but... Anybody who's like, Batman vs. Superman was so stupid, this is great. It's like, you're the problem, jackass. Like, <laughs> well, if they had Iron Man, like, standing in, like, a cave, and all of a sudden his, like, body armor shoots onto him, and then he floats up into the sky, <laughs> yeah. I would probably crack up. There was a little bit of that when he's in the jet or the helicopter, and he leans back into the helicopter, and away he yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't come out like this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah. Um, you know what? I was looking up online. I, after the movie, I asked you guys, and was like, did, did we know that Cap knew about Tony's parents and what Bucky did. And he was like, no, apparently we did. In Winter Soldier, there's like a part where they're like looking up newspaper articles and they're kind of like flying by and they're talking about it. And they basically say like, like someone killed, uh, you know, like the Starks and it shows like a newspaper and it's like Starks killed. And it's like, and Winter Soldier. And then it shows like the Winter Soldier. And like, they don't, they literally don't say like it was him, but it's but showing all it right of the bits of me, yeah. in front of you and the newspaper reads That's exactly cool. what it is. But That's cool though. Yeah, you I had to pause up. it to read it. I looked it up online. They had all of the articles and stuff, yeah. which I'm sure a lot of people ask that same question. It's like, yeah. when did that happen? Yeah. I don't go to these movies to read. Obviously, that's why I watch the movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, the, even like the, the Civil War comic isn't isn't necessarily great. Like, no. It, it's got a lot of cool stuff going. And then at the very end, they're just like, Cap's like, oh, look at the cost of war. Well, doesn't isn't it like police officers and firefighters will save him from fighting or something? I don't think so. If it's I've been a long time since I've, I've yeah. read it, but I think that that he sees people dying, and he's like, "We're not ready to pay this price," <laughs> and then they quit. It's like, what? So, <laughs> what do you think about not killing him? 
Oh, like, just good. no deaths in general? Because that was a bit shocking. I was like, oh, War Machine's done. Like, I kind of thought he was dead too yeah, from yeah. the trailer. And I, His legs are. Yeah. <laughs> but Tony's gonna give him robot leg. Like even by the end, it's yeah. like, oh, now you have robot legs. It's yeah. like it's like a Daredevil. Oh, I'm blind. Oh no! It's like oh, but now I can still see through echolocation. Fucking <laughs> sonar, baby. And then are you really blind? Like yeah. that's the thing. Really... Like, I don't think. Like they're so like casual with killing people off in like Daredevil or Jessica Jones or whatever, and like there's never the stakes haven't ever been higher until this film. And yet there was no consequences. It was yeah. like, oh, everyone's all right. Everyone's friends now. And it's sort of like, oh, come on, guys. Like, let's, you know, off you, Falcon. You <laughs> let's, let's off Falcon. <laughs> oh, man. They, they he's seriously like, should have killed he's, somebody. He's getting yeah. better, actually. I think Falcon is turning uh, out to be one of them, like... Uh, more pleasing guy like I, I like him a lot yeah, better yeah. in the movies like I didn't get to know him until like these last couple movies but I'm, I'm kind of like you know what he's I do a really hate fun though, character. is like when actors political stances come out because it ruins them for me a little bit like the Falcon says he's a Trump supporter oh really and I'm like dude I can't look at you the same mm. way and that's why uh, Steve didn't uh, tow his car <laughs> did you hear about that like yeah. I guess some tow truck driver is going to pick up some lady and she, oh, he saw yeah. that there was a Bernie Sanders sticker on the back of his car he's like Fuck you! I'm for Trump, and he drove off in his tow truck. So, really? No, didn't he really? tow her car, but he wouldn't give her a ride. No, oh, he, really? No, he just left no, the I think he just left the car there. It's like out. you're kind of like in the service industry. Like this, this lady is in the I middle would of not nowhere. Serve like, somebody, but that dude's gonna be fine, whether or not I like him as the Falcon. Yeah, it's like you, you support Trump. You're kind of a dumbass. Yeah, <laughs> like smidgen, smidgen dumbass. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so. What do you think about, like, when you think back to the comic, one of the main sort of story points is Spider-Man is, it's pretty much a Spider-Man comic, right? Because mm -hmm. he, he's the main character and he, and he flicks back and forth between the two sides. Um, and he reveals himself as, as one of the big things. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you think about that in comparison to the film where they didn't really do any of that? That, yeah. was, that was the other thing I noticed. I, was I like, think the biggest thing was just licensing. I think we yeah. were lucky to get any Spider-Man in the movie. But yeah. the Spider-Man we did get was probably my favorite. Movie. I heard they wrote yeah. two scripts. And then they said if they pulled Spider-Man, they, they would have had to like rearrange the script. And I'm looking at it now, I'm like, it would make some problems, but it really wouldn't have made too it many problems. Change, it, 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 dude, it, it would have made the movie a little more streamlined. It would have cut out that little section where he goes and meets him. Don't get me wrong, I loved it. That To me, that was a highlight, was the mm. Spider-Man and Ant-Man stuff. That stuff was yeah. great, but... It's like without Spider Man, it doesn't. The movie doesn't lose really much. Okay, on a meter like one to ten, how much would you bang Aunt May? <laughs> how, how much would you? How much would you give it to her? <laughs> I saw a picture. I guess Marissa Tomei was in yeah. like a like a stripper movie or something, or like a, doing a lap dance in a movie. Uh -huh. and it, the caption was like, uh, "When Peter's got to eat, Aunt May's got to work." <laughs> <laughs> Some dirty dude uh, like staring at her booty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Dude. No, Spider Man. Spider Man was dope, and perhaps that, that was part of the reason why I had a hard time in the first little bit of the movie because I was like, I was so anxious to see Spider Man, like wondering when he was gonna finally show up. Yeah. And I was like, all right, come on, Spider Man, Spider Man, let's see Spider Man. Where's Spider Man? Um, but that first. He was doing that in the that theater. Movie was like was. lagging was like, like crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I like the the opening fight scene was cool and like wherever it was I can't remember yeah. South Africa yeah. Yeah. and then the the Bucky escape was cool out of, out of the building where he uses the railing as like a zip line I hated that one you didn't like that fight yeah. scene no that fight scene sucked dude I, I kind of that one it. has the really cool right. motorcycle grab and he does like the flips it around and jumps on it I it thought was it was like... alright like I don't know that's the first time you see Black Panther like being awesome Black like, Panther stuff was cool sliding down yeah. the side of the building and that yeah. but, and but, scratching the shield was cool too mm -hmm. yeah. yeah scratching the shield was cool it was cool when like all that debris was like falling and he was like flying towards the car like he just got launched off and he like swipes the back of the tire just so he can clip him Black Panther stuff was cool but Bucky stuff was yeah mm -hmm. I kind of feel like at the end when like um, Cap's like standing there and Tony's like give me back the shield it's mine anyways he's like fine here you go and then like Black Panther should be in the corner like I think it's mine, actually. <laughs> Didn't we mine that metal? Thank you very much, Tony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. To me, I guess it felt like there was a lot of, like, fighting, and I didn't care about a lot of it until mm -hmm. they get to, like... The, the big fight. The, the, yeah, cool. the terminal. Yeah, yeah, until there, I was just like, all right, like, I get it. Like, there's fights, and, you know, you need to, like, get through some stuff, but 
I don't know. I just didn't feel like the story was going far enough, and I didn't care at all at that point. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't care if Bucky died. Bucky was being a little pussy. At, like, I honestly, thought he was, was actually. The movie. I thought he was gonna die. I kind of wished he would have. Yeah, me I too. Wish, <laughs> can you imagine if t- Tony killed Bucky? Yeah, that nice. that would have been a pretty good one. And then we wouldn't have, like. I'm not a fan of Bucky, and I haven't been from even Winter Soldier. It was okay, but it wasn't like my favorite. And like he was better than that for sure. But um, yeah, I could have seen him go, and then that would have been a great key moment for like Cap and, and yeah Iron Man. Yeah, and I also thought he like if they were sticking to the comic, he was going to be the one that goes. Between the two sides, somehow. I don't Dude, know. I, I told you exactly who was going to be the, the turncoat. And it's Marvel just, that's the, that's the thing that was like, thinking that Marvel's going to really kill somebody, I was like, ooh, I hear this one's supposed to have like a death. Like, that's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Nothing. That's the problem with Marvel is like, those dudes don't care about consequences. They're just like, mm. Yeah. No, they just play it safe. Yeah. I mean, and they have for a long time, but that's their formula and that's what's worked out. Like, even, <clears throat> even when War Machine gets hit, it's because of an accident. It's not because, like, yeah. which is, it's fine. Like, that's that's still a, another bit of controversy in there, too, and we probably should talk about that a bit. But um, it's not as though someone went out of control. Or, yeah. like, the fight between all of them, it didn't really seem like a fight. It seemed more like sparring. Like, yeah, like, yeah come on, come at me. And, well, like, totally was you know, like, I'll guy, hit you. you know, like, it's just like, yeah, you're not really hitting each other. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, what, was it Scarlet Witch? She's like, you're pulling your punches. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he's like, yeah, we're still friends. <laughs> you know? Yeah, like they're talking about how, like, if they're gonna be friends, she, he's like, are we gonna be friends? He's all depends on how hard you hit me, because <laughs> that's how war goes. <laughs> Can you imagine if like Hulk was in this and like he just goes crazy and all of a sudden like they're all like play fighting and all of a sudden he like grabs one of the characters and just like starts smashing the head into the cement. <laughs> that'd be amazing. <laughs> he's just like everyone just like stops. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he, just, he just obliterated that guy's face. He killed him. He killed Steve. <laughs> and then he goes back and he's like, <gasps> The other funny thing about that fight was like, the vision is like non existent for the first half of that fight. Mm-hmm. He's just like, All right, let's just watch how this stuff unfolds. It's like, if you put him against Scarlet Witch, dude, they're getting. They, they've got like a, a real good fight. Yeah. But Scarlet Witch is kind of like handling people and doing stuff. It's like, Man, this fight is really, like, off balance right now, and you guys just aren't using the Vision at all. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. there could have been some really cool visuals with oh, Scarlet yeah. Witch and Vision fighting. Oh, my God, yes. Like, that would be fun. Yeah. That, like, there was a little bit where, where uh, Scarlet Witch, like, crinkles him into the ball. Like, he's like, oh, no. And then forces him through, like, the building. Yeah. That was, yeah. Cool. That was pretty fun. That was cool. Um, yeah, your phone, Scott. Turning it off. <laughs> so, let's it's our about, biggest yeah. fan. Let's talk about some of the good stuff. Like... Cause, it, Cause there is good stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. Spider Man was awesome. Honestly, I didn't think it was too slow in the beginning. My first ride through, I wasn't bored by. Did it. you see it twice? No, no. I mean, I'm just saying, like the first half of it, I I didn't think it was too slow. I thought it was good, informative, so I wasn't really bothered by it. But Spider Man, absolutely the highlight. I think it's probably the only time I actually laughed out loud. The kid they got for that was just perfect. Yeah. yeah. Perfect adolescent. Mm-hmm. Just. Yeah, I don't know. It was great. And when Winter Soldier goes to punch, he's like, dude, you got a metal arm? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Just wait till our uh, other episode we haven't posted yet it comes up. Well, we talk about that line because it was in the trailer. Oh. I couldn't remember what it, what he said. And I was like, I think he says like, whoa, you have a metal arm? Or like or like something like you know, this, Cal- this like California voice. It was really bad. That's funny. Um, Ant-Man, I think, was actually on par with, with Spider-Man. He was yep. really funny. Mm-hmm. But I love Paul Rudd, so... He had the... I think he had one of the funniest jokes in the movie. And it wasn't even, like, really a joke. It was just kind of stupid out of nowhere. Like, where he's, like, crushing everything. He's like, oh, someone flew into me! And he, like, like <laughs> he flies into him. <laughs> it's like... I don't know why. That just made me crack up so bad. I liked when he handed Captain America a shield. And he's like, I think this is yours. Yeah. Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it was, like... A little too awkward the way he was. I mean, he no, was like he kind was, of fanboy. He was stoked, dude. I mean, think about it. You, I mean, in their world, he would be watching these guys on the news save the day and be just like these amazing icons. And Captain America is an icon from like the forties, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, so he he probably grew up, you know. And there was probably stories like we had this soldier who helped win the war. Like, what a badass, right? And now this guy's back saving the day from aliens, like bringing down like flying cities, which is a stupid weapon. <laughs> but it's like 
these guys are huge. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. get a fight alongside of them? Like, that's dope, dude. Yeah. Like, I, I think Spider-Man should have been nerding out a little bit more, maybe. He was yeah. he was still nerding out quite a bit, though. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah. I love the, the line he, he's like, have you guys seen that really old movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back? Yeah. <laughs> <Walkers>? like, <laughs> that like aged all of us. Yeah. I kind of thought that I kind of thought that he that one of the older guys were gonna make like a joke like I think it's more like Gulliver's Travels. <laughs> Cause he's tying the guys down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was good though. I mean it was good. I still think it's it's definitely better than both the Avengers movies, I'd say. Yeah. Age um, of Ultron was probably one of the well, I didn't like that very much. Not very many people did. It's funny, I enjoyed it, but mm-hmm. I liked it a whole lot more than the first one, at least for rewatchability. Most Marvel's movies, I, I feel like, yeah, I don't go back to them much. I don't I don't ever really have the urge to watch them. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of the ones I can watch again. Uh, Winter Soldier, I could watch over and over again. But I don't know that this one will be have like the rewatchability, especially not the first half mm-hmm. for me. Because even yeah. if you, you liked it that time, like the first 45 minutes is still a lot of setup. Yeah. So. Although, like you said uh, on Batman vs. Superman, after we talked about it, you're like, ooh, this makes me more excited to watch it again. Kind of makes me more excited to want to watch it again because I, I, I haven't seen either of those a second time. I think both of them would probably be, be fun to watch a second time and kind of get more of the little things. Yeah. Like, also, I didn't really know, is the bad guy in this supposed to be a main bad guy? Like the yeah. Baron Zemo, yeah. Mm-hmm. He's he's the guy with like the purple sock head. And oh. He's got like a like a gold crown, if I remember right. Mm-hmm. I, I don't really read Avengers comics, so I don't I haven't seen too much of Baron Zemo. I had a friend who was like obsessed with Baron Zemo, but he'd show me comics and I was like, I don't care about <laughs> Sockhead Zemo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, supposedly he's supposed to be like a, a really yeah. like a huge villain. That's the one thing that was like I, I know like you get some setup with this, it but Baron Zemo doesn't feel like as woven in throughout the story no. as Lex like no it's like this movie definitely uh, Civil War definitely executed far better than Batman versus Superman um, but Lex definitely was the better smarter villain in terms of execution and the way the way things worked like Zemo was just kind of like well you know yeah, kind of like I hope they hate each other <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> hopefully well, this causes guy. some discord yeah. you know, he's over there like crossing his ears like please <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I mean, like, you know what's funny is, like, I was watching some reviews on Batman vs. Superman. When, after I watched the movie, I was like, that was not a, a good movie. But it wasn't a bad movie. And I was like, I don't really, like, know what to say about it. I didn't really have, like, a lot behind it because I didn't, haven't read, like, a lot of the comics or even yeah. actually seeing the car- comic the, or the cartoon that it was based off of. Actually, I watched that recently, and that was freaking awesome. The, Which one? Dark Knight that, Returns? Yeah, Dark Knight Returns. Oh, yeah, dude. They had those on HBO, and, and it's awesome. Like, those are way cool. Oh, the movie? Yeah, the yeah. animation. In fact, I like the first movie better than the second movie, mm-hmm. where they actually fight. But, um, <clears throat> no, the thing is, is that the biggest problem between the two is in the, event, in the Captain America, we kind of expected to see someone die, and we were probably okay with having one of the characters die off, because there's just so many now. Um, I think it was kind of, like, ready to have someone die. And they didn't. And in Batman vs Superman, we've only gone one movie with Superman, and then now they're like, "Let's kill him off." It's like, "Let's do Doomsday." Doomsday. It's like, oh, 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 wait, wait, whoa, whoa, we haven't even got a chance to like meet this guy. Mm-hmm. We, like, there are plenty of become, comic series yeah. before Batman dies and yeah. Doomsday comes in that you could have done, and maybe you could have been a little less heavy-handed with that. Yeah. And so that was like, I think the the big difference where it's like we weren't ready for Batman, Superman to die and then he dies we we're yeah. ready for someone to die and, and no one does no one does yeah and so it's kind of like that's why they're I feel like a little bit both both flawed yeah 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 there, there's flaws between both but at the end of the day they, they're they're both good popcorn flicks like go turn your brain off you're looking at guys in tights yeah like really <laughs> that's like, it you're watching like <laughs> there was things in there where Ange was like what like what the hell what the hell yeah. like when the bike flipped around and that but I was like I'm watching a comic book film. Like, like okay, it? <laughs> it would have be fine if it was in panels. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, so I think the only reason I was like highly critical was because I got so tired of like all the hate for Batman versus Superman. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just shred this movie because it's going to be just as easy as shredding Batman versus Superman. Mm-hmm. Sure. There's still so much to like about it. I'm going to buy the movie day one when it comes out. <laughs> like, but yeah. what do you guys think about the romance? I don't think Marvel knows how to write romance. What like, romance? 
Oh, well, like the the bit of flirting between the Vision and Scarlet Witch is oh. like, ugh, it's kind of bland. Yeah. And then like the flirting between Captain America and his like his dead you know, girlfriend's daughter. <laughs> it's like, whoa, we're going like Twilight storyline here. Did you imprint on her too? Um. <laughs> For one, Cap could get whoever he wants. <laughs> I mean, that part where he's holding the helicopter, it's like, yeah, he's got pussy unlocked. Like, I, I heard that he actually did that. Huh? That was actually him doing that. Holding the, the, a helicopter. Yeah, like, the they actually, well, like the, the helicopter wasn't going, like, full bore, but it actually is him, like, holding it, and they had it pulling against him and everything, like, on there. That's not, like, that's CG cool. or a stunt or anything yeah, like that. That's him. Cool. Is that, like, when he rips that log in half in, like, Avengers 2, where he's <laughs> just like, <laughs> is it real? <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Song. But, I mean, I could be but, wrong. I, 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 I heard. Yeah, but think about stores, it. Like, but. she was his neighbor. He's gonna be into. It. Like, he finds out she's Peggy's like granddaughter. He's just like, All he's right. like, he's like sitting there, like, looks at the picture. Peggy he looks at her, and like back and forth. He's like, okay, I'll pay. I'll pay. <laughs> Close enough. Do you see me hold that helicopter? Let's walk. Let's talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Good job, Scott. <laughs> to say though yeah yeah i don't know i thought it was end result good yeah i'll watch it again thought it was great this yeah. not sponsored by marvel in any way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's in the upper echelon of the marvel cinematic universe yeah Definitely. and the way i see it like it it's just another chapter of like this character development you know i don't see it as a comic book rendition or a movie rendition of a comic book anymore. It's more just sort of like, this is their next next step in their journey. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So if they get written out, or if Iron Man's last film was this one, like, it doesn't matter because the next one will continue on. You know, it's just yeah. little segments now. Just this ongoing. It's a, it's a soap opera. It is. It's for sure. Super like, dramatic. Yeah. That's what Bailey was talking about. She's like, I think I kind of like DC better because. This is so high school drama. Yeah. And like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could see that. But, I mean, it is pretty funny. Um, I was over at her mom's house for Mother's Day, and she goes, I saw that movie, but I didn't recognize the red guy or the girl with the powers. Because there's so many Marvel movies that she yeah. missed the other Avengers, but she's like, I saw Winter Soldier, so I knew the guy, and I thought this was about. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> You've yeah. got, there's a lot of movies you have to watch to understand this. My movie. wife hadn't even no. seen um, Ant Man. Oh, okay. And so we actually brought that over the weekend and watched it again. And that's still a great movie. Like, yeah, the movie's hilarious. It's, it's yeah. definitely, in, I think that's definitely in one of the upper yeah. ups of it. Because it's that, just so strange. It's like a watch. heist movie. It's like funny. It's like superheroes. It's cool, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that one's got some rewatchability because it's pretty funny. You know what I wanted to, to talk about real quick before we leave is um, the. T Tony Stark and like Cap, like Tony didn't have a problem with signing all these things over, and I feel like part of it is his his own personality because like if people took away, people take away his Iron Man suit, like the government's like, oh yeah, we're gonna take away your Iron Man suit and you can't use it until we unless we, unless we let you. Uh, bullshit. He can yeah. just make an Iron Man suit, like and he'll just it, it. unless you like erase his brain, he can still make an Iron Man suit. But if you take away Falcon's wings, he is not a superhero anymore. Mm, yeah. yeah, like he's a really strong guy, but he's not a superhero anymore. Cap, you take away his shield, he's still a really strong guy. He's he's pretty much still a superhero, but he still is missing a, a big part of who he is, and who, who that they can't get back. But Tony has that ability to always get it back, and so I feel like it was a little offhanded by him, like parading through the the jail, like. And and treat him all like this. And it's like, and like obviously he was trying to get the information. He knew that he was wrong. But in the same regards, it's like he still didn't apologize for that. And he he never really like talked about it like per se. It's like I still feel like Tony it, it, he doesn't really see that he is the superhero. Not you know it's it's sort of like um I guess isn't Bruce Wayne's kind of like that too. Like he his his riches and development make him a superhero so he can he can always get that you know what i mean yeah. like i guess people could take away his riches take away his his resources that's that's the one thing is you take away iron man's resources he still has a superhero the brain. but he's not a superhero if if you take away his ability to actually pay for his suit he what, built a suit in jail in the first one he built the the weird but little iron man him, they were giving him suit. stuff they they gave him they gave resources him all the resources to build it you, know? you take away his resources what can he do in a fight Nothing. I think he'd be pretty it. sissy in a fight, honestly, what is, without his suit. You take away Batman's belt, 
you take away his cowl, you take away all of his gadgets, his car, and all that stuff, and his resources, what is he going to do? Fuck you up, son. He's going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Batman's fast. So Cap versus <laughs> Cap versus Tony, who wins without the shield, without any other gear. Nah, better Just the guy. It's Cap versus Batman. Cap versus Batman. Batman. Batman contends with Superman. That, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked up, dude. Cap's still a super soldier. He can like run thirty miles an hour. Didn't you see him walk, running yeah. through that that, that tunnel? But he's he's not Superman level super soldier. <laughs> no, no. Did we say Superman? I thought we said Batman. I said Batman. Batman, but that's the point. Batman can fight Superman. That means Which is weird to me. Oh Superman well, well, wait. Like, I'm gonna cut you in half with my laser eyes. Wait, well, Batman can fight something. Superman when Superman's like, okay, kids, we'll play fight you know yeah, like yeah. he's not like if, if superman really punched batman batman would be jello he'd be like, ah. <laughs> Just like that. oh god superman <laughs> does pull his punches that's correct but the fact that he's even contending with somebody on that level like because he's still surprised me batman versus superman and he still beat him i was he sur- had that bitch on the ground and was about to kill him like superman may have pulled his punches but he can't pull his punches to the point where they, they hit as weak as, as Steve Rogers' punches. Yeah. He doesn't know how to do that. Can you do that? It's like Superman's like level one punch is still going to be like far harder than, than Steve Rogers' punch. Oh, no doubt. Superman, the only person on Marvel that, that fights Superman would be, to me, <coughs> I think I think Hulk. But I guess you could Thor. probably pin like... Uh, yeah, Thor. Yeah. Thor, Thor maybe. Uh, I guess you could pin like Scarlet Witch or Vision against well, him and that might it. be a pretty good fight too. You put too. Thor up against Hulk, right? And they go toe to toe. Why would you not put Thor against Superman? Mm. They go toe to toe in Avengers. Yeah, but Thor, Thor, uh, Hulk still like kind of beats the shit out of Hulk. How? Uh, excuse me. They, Thor, uh, just, the Hulk yeah, kind of beats the shit out of Hulk. They're uh, just Thor. kind of throwing each other around. Yeah. I don't think there was a clear winner. Mm, I, I don't think that like anyone like I think if they fought for a long time, <laughs> overall I think Thor would lose. Maybe. Well, let's just see. Let's let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> pay him to, to do a cage match. Either way, Batman is going to beat Cap. Yeah. You know who, who Batman can't beat? Who? Spider-Man. Why? Spider-Man beats the shit out of Batman. And I hate it. I hate it. Why would that be? Because he's he's really fast, Superman, or Spider-Man is. He's like not crazy fast, but he's, he's much faster than Batman. His He's not going to be able to pull a punch on him. He's spry. His, well, because he's way more agile than him. Yeah. He's stronger than him. He's faster than him. And his spider sense, dude, that's retarded. What are you going to do against that? Nothing. There's very few people that can actually beat Oh, Batman could use his, like, super, uh, didn't he have, like, a, uh, basically, like, a bat sense thing in, like, the second Batman where he, like, used everyone's cell phones as, like, uh, <laughs> echolocation type thing? And, like, Al- Alfred's like, this is room. too powerful, Batman. We need to shut it down. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Alfred. <laughs> Just do your job. <laughs> That's what the shark looks like. <laughs> it's got shark like, and he jumped in. Who would win in a fight? Michael Keaton or Tobey <laughs> Maguire? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Tobey Maguire does have his Toby sense. <laughs> I hate it. All right. I just to think that about him. So, yeah. you guys have any ending words? Um, I would give it probably like a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'd say like 7. 7 or 8 for me as well. Go see it. I won't give it a number. I'll give say it. go see it. Give it like a smiley face at least. Like I'll give it. I'll give it one. A... <laughs> <laughs> you judge what that is. <laughs> you know what I will say real quick before we go. Yeah. So far, out of all the superhero movies that have come out this year, Deadpool's the winner. Oh, dude! By absolutely. Far and away, like Deadpool's way better yeah. than everything else. Yeah, you know it's funny. Mm-hmm. Everyone was like, Deadpool's like the first R-rated superhero movie. It's like. Uh, did you see Blade? Yeah, Blade, bitch. Oh, <laughs> not only that, but um, oh, now I'm gonna have it lost in my head. There was uh, early '90s movies and late '80s movies. Not well, RoboCop was. Uh, yeah, RoboCop. Yeah. That's hard. I was surprised about that because I, I was like telling my wife, "I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I remember game. watching this as a kid." And we, I'm like, "Let's turn on." And like, they, he blasts away that boardroom, like. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't remember it being this bloody, but I'm happy with this. Like, <laughs> isn't it funny? You're like. Damn, my parents were liberal. Damn, I'm <laughs> fucked up. I was watching that when I was like five. The yeah. torture scene where he's like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> shoots him in the dick. It's like, yeah. what? <laughs> this is crazy. You're letting your kids watch this? But yeah, I definitely think Deadpool is probably the winner out of this year. It's, it's oh, so a fun. pretty good Absolutely. movie. We've still got uh, X-Men in two weeks. Mm-hmm. I don't We've have still... my hopes for X-Men, though. Myself. 
Dude, the, the last few X Men have been pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Like the, they, they, they have, they have. I've been, but I've been really excited about the last few. This, these movie trailers that they've shown us so far, uh, like I'm picking the the story part in my head as I'm watching these, and I'm like, it's not adding up to me. I, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be surprised. I, yeah, I've definitely been surprised. You don't have any context for what they're doing. You thought that it was going to be a much more malicious, like sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. Yeah. Don't don't chalk up what you think the movie's going to be fully because you saw the trailer. <laughs> the other thing is, we've also got Suicide Squad. Yeah. And Doctor Strange. So we're actually only halfway through in terms of superhero movies. But we've also got Warcraft. That's not superhero movies. That's just going to be awesome. No, orcs are kind of super. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and real quick, while we're recording, I am dreading when people are going to be like, oh, all that CG looks awful in Warcraft. I saw the trailer for that on IMAX. That shit was way better than 90% of what we just saw in Civil yeah. War. And nobody's going to say anything yeah. because they're going to be sucking that Marvel dick. If, if, it, if, it's, if it does though, Jimmy suck, though, like if Warcraft does suck, are you going to tell it? Like, are you going to say how it is? Are you going to say how it is? Or are you going to just be like, I, I think it was still really good? Like, no. You, you'll, you'll be like, I was disappointed. I died a little yeah. inside. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. After the first trailer, I, I was still excited to finally see it. Like, like a trailer, but I was like, that wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But, dude, I saw those orcs on IMAX, and I was legitimately like, damn, on this it. looks amazing. Yeah. It looks better than it does on, like, like TVs and all that jazz. Like, the, that stuff looked really good. I do hope that they can pull the story off, because I, I think they've got quite a tough task. And, and I'll be critical. I'm still critical of Batman versus Superman. You know? I still liked it. I think the problem with Warcraft is that everyone uh, assumes that it's based off of World of Warcraft, and <laughs> that, like, not a lot of people know about Warcraft and, and how that works. I mean, I'm not really super, like knowledgeable about the background but yeah. I know it makes more sense to have a Warcraft movie rather than a World of Warcraft yeah. movie mm -hmm. well, so. and that's part of what the director's talked about because I've watched a bunch of videos with him he talks, talks about how he wants to go and like introduce this world to everybody so anybody who hasn't ever done it and even like the World of Warcraft players who don't know the story because there's a lot of them they don't pay attention to their quests they're going to be able to watch it and be like oh okay so, so this is where it all started and he, he said in a couple of interviews, he's like, I want it to feel like for people who played World of Warcraft, when they see places, like they feel like they've gone home. And he's like, and I really just want to introduce this world to everybody else. He's like, he thinks he's got like something really special. And it sounds like he's got something special. I mean, the studio at first was like, well, let's bring it out in March because, you know, it might not be a super strong movie and we can put it in March against no competition. And they saw the movie and they were like, let's put it in June. And they put it on the same slot as Jurassic World because yeah. they're that confident with it that it's going to just do that good. So. We're, we're about to love Jurassic World, sorry. Right. No. <laughs> we're not going to get on that one. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Any other words? Say Facebook. Hi to us. Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. YouTube. Oh, uh, Google, Plus, uh, Google Plus. Uh, or not pl Plus, but Google Play has Google. podcasts. And oh, yeah. We're podcasts on there. Podcasts on Google Play now. It's on iTunes. Yeah, it's actually really sweet. Go on there and you can subscribe to it and then like... All your other podcasts can be live there, and they'll just propagate. You know the news from oh, that's the cool. top. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we're techie. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See Later. Ya.